Hello everyone, Wardfire here. We're gonna start out on some new adventures full of snow apparently. This game is called Chronicles of the Witches and Warlocks. I don't really know anything about this game. As usual, we're playing games blind, but this looks interesting with a little girl here and and a portal of some sort or something. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. Casual mode, please, yes. Trouble, Kathleen. Danny, what's going on? It's a long story, and I don't have much time. I almost found it, but something went wrong. Drop your weapons! Hands up! Danny, answer me! What are the police doing there? You. Whoa! All right, I, I'm presuming we're playing as Kathleen, and it looks like we cannot lock our inventory. What is this? No idea. We have a hint here. Menu. All right, cool. Here's our phone. We dropped it. Yeah, receiving the item. Mobile phone. And a drawer key. One out of two. All right. Right, straight into the game, no tutorial. My achievements and awards. I can't leave the office without my briefcase. I need to open the locks. Danny and me on vacation. Ignition key, all right. Jar key, two. Or two out of two. Go, the drawer. Ah, here we go. Journal. An hour ago, I thought today was a good day. Today, I finally managed to win a complicated inheritance case that I've been working on for over half a year. If it weren't for the alarming call I received from Danny, I'd be celebrating my victory right now. I need to go to the police station right away and find out what Danny's gotten himself into this time. Yeah. Lawyer ID card. Alright. So how do we open the briefcase though? We have phone, ignition key, lawyer ID card. Oh, oh, no, 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 never mind. We just do it like this. The key is missing something. Okay, uh, pocket for my phone. And there's where the ID card goes. Alright, cool. You received an item. Briefcase. So if we do this, we have the briefcase here. Yeah, okay. Let's leave. Danny, they suspect you of killing Jack Goodman. Who is he? It's the guy who lived in the next room. I think he's some kind of mountaineer. Kathleen, I've been set up. Why would I kill, want to kill him? Do you have any ideas? An idea how often juries hear those words? They found a hook in your room with Goodman's blood and your fingerprints all over it. This is all because of the totem I've been looking for for so many years. I finally got on its trail, so someone decided to set me up. Oh, that artifact hunting of yours again. Isn't there a less dangerous way to make a living? Sure there is, but nothing else interests me. Except you, of course. What if I try to find this totem for you, Danny? Then whoever set you up will show himself, and will be able to find out the truth. You're a lawyer, not a bounty hunter. But I know I won't change your mind now that you've got the idea into your head. 
All the notes on my artifact searches are in a hiding place in my room. I'll write you a diagram showing you how to find it. And please, Kathleen, be careful. Don't worry about me. You know that being a lawyer means being able to solve the most complex puzzles. They're talking really fast here. Alright. Let's go, Kathleen. It all turned out to be more complicated than I thought. Of course Danny isn't the killer. He's just an adventurer who gets carried away. But how can I convince the police of that? I need to find out who set him up. I need to speak to the hotel clerk. Clerk, okay. Another journalist? The police said nobody's allowed into the murder victim's room. Stay away from here. Can I click? Yeah, okay. What a stubborn old man. It's a shame I can't ask Danny which room he was staying in. I'll have to think of a way to get past this old grouch. I don't know which room I need. Whoops! Frank. Looks like his name is. Hotel Clark's cup of coffee. Oh, I got a map. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Got some scissors. This lift isn't working. I need to find a way to get the key to the room from the hotel clerk. I don't know which room I, I need. Ooh, our first in object scene. Here we go. Flute, angel, smile, tennis ball, paintbrush, and bell. You might be a smile, yeah. Bell. Ooh, ace of spades. Glove. Angel. Paintbrush. Sleeping pills, dust pan, tennis ball, wrench and arrow. Yeah, I was like, didn't I see a wrench before? <laughs> Looking for the flute. There. And remaining five. Okay, it says two. Awesome. Should be here. There we go. See an item. Sleeping pills. The cord is sealed off. I need to cut the ribbon. I have scissors. Yeah. I don't know which room I need. Diadem. Cabinet key. One out of two. The lift isn't working. No, 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 game. I want to go back. This seems rather drastic, but okay. Yeah, Frank... Noel, maybe? His name was? Right, cabinet key. Don't know which room I need. Here we go, cabinet key. Number 402. 
Red figurine. Alright. I'm in luck. Now I need to find the key to room 402. Now I have a map. I don't know this place at all, so this should come in handy. Awesome. Row two. Here we go. Alright, what's in here then? Bathroom. The bathroom door is missing a figurine. Could be a bird, but I'm not gonna. Need to insert an item here. No. Oh, wait, she wants this. You want the bird in there. Yeah. Whee! Whoa! Sorry. I never f did find out about something. No one's seen him since he was searching for an ancient totem. In ancient times, the Indians used totem to take the census, will, and mind away from people, the contents of the soul itself. Who's there? Coolio. Alright. Remaining 15. And who was that little girl? Giraffe. Somewhere. Ball and boat. Lots of tennis balls here. Boat. Switch. I need to lift a latch with something. Here, I'm seeing strange things. I just saw a young girl in an old dress, completely alone in an empty room. I don't understand. What's happening to me? This gives me the creeps, but I don't intend to give up. I saw the girl again, but this time I tried to keep my fear under control. I had the feeling the child was trying to help me. It was as if she was pointing me towards the wardrobe. Oh, that's a button to go backwards in scenes. Okay, that's very good. It can be really hard to get to it instead of. 1856. Oh, 1856 to 1930. I need to open the lock. Arnold Howard, 1856 to 1930. Researcher of ancient languages and rituals. Point opening it without a disc. Wardrobe is locked. No. Right. Euro. No. I only have the bureau key. Oh no, actually, we have the cane here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, we're we're in lock. Okay. 
Squeeze me, that was that was his cane. Hint what you look like. Ah, hello. Hairpin. Maybe we can use that here. No. Oh, wait, we can use that here. A dolphin statuette. Okay, I'm presuming that is for the bathroom. No. Okay, bookmark in here then. Yeah. Okay. It's some kind of unusual symbol. I wonder what it's here for. I need something long to reach the statuette. Indian statuette. Though, so do you really mean Indians or do you mean native people? Or native, not people, but like native. native. What's it? I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know the correct terms. I feel so bad with this. I'm very sorry. I wonder what these brackets are that here for. Maybe there's something behind the picture. It looks like some kind of mechanism, but it's clearly missing something. I can't open it without a key that I have. Alright. Bow ties and... Other things. Box and stone. Where here is there stone? Oh, there. Oh, statuette. Okay. What a big wardrobe. There could be something behind it. Something here. Maybe? somehow connected to the statuettes on the shelf. What shelf? What shelf? Oh, this shelf. Okay. Arrange the figurines in the correct order. Okay, so some sort of viking helmet. Wolf. No. 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 Uh, oh, oh, okay. Now I, I see what it is. It's like a head thing. Wolf, owl, bear. Oh, I see. Okay. Whoa. It looks like I'm going to have just accept the fact that I've fallen into a magical story. It'll be simpler that way. Little girls from the past, portals to parallel universes. I should just take it all as I get as a given and move on. I miss the days when all my diary had in it was clients' addresses, clients' addresses, and interpretations of legal articles. <laughs> that is how you cope 
with Hoppa Game Stories. You're just like, okay, it turned magical. Sure. Let's go. Let's just roll with it. It's gonna be easier if I just accept that it's magic. Awesome. Cool. But we're gonna go through the portal in the next episode because time is up. So thank you all very much for uh, watching. Hope you're enjoying Chronicles of the Witches and Warlocks. And I'll see ya.